next guest is a member of the best-selling girl group, the Spice Girls. Yes. Now she is a New York Times best-selling author with your young adult novel, Rosie Frost and the Falcon Queen, which is an excellent and beautiful book. Please welcome Jerry Hallowell Horner. is your first time here. Yes. It is. yes. You know, we are so glad to have you here. As you can see, everyone's wearing pink. It's Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Show. And so I know this cause is very important to you. Ama I think it's amazing yeah. that you're doing this. Yes, I've... Yeah. The same in Britain, mm. I've worked for, um, it's Breast Cancer Now with the yeah. King, His Royal Highness, yeah. we're both patrons. So I think it's a, what you're doing is fantastic and you do look pretty in pink. Oh, thank <laughs> you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I love the colours. This yeah. is a cause though that's close to your heart, right? Did yeah, I mean, when yeah. I was younger, I had a bit of a scare of it and also my aunt died of it. But I just think this is one thing that you can all really prevent. Yeah. Yes. And it's about awareness and the fact that you're doing this is brilliant. Yeah. It's one of um, Jerry, such a fan. It's such an honor to meet you. I love the Spice Girls, and this year marks the 25th anniversary of the movie Spice World, right? Um, you know, I mean, the Spice Girls, it, it was all about girl power. I mean, it, it gave young girls like me, when I was listening to your music, I felt empowered. And I feel like with tours this summer, of Beyonce and Taylor Swift, do you guys feel that? Like, do you feel like you were kind of the initiators of that girl power? Do you know, I, you know, for me, girl power means about, it, it's everyone, okay? That means you, yeah. you, Thank everyone you. here, yeah. okay? Yeah. And, and that means empowering each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so what, you know, this show stands for is really uplifting people. And so, and I think back in the day, I, from, for generations different, I don't, whether it's, you know, back at uh, the Tudors, Queen Elizabeth I, yeah. she had a horrific time. And, you know, different generations have all had their challenges and we all get inspired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's, di you know, d different people in our generations that can inspire us. Yeah. And so I can't mm -hmm. take that credit, I'm just inspired. Yeah. I think so. Well, you inspired yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. You inspired <laughs> me. You know what, that's lovely that, you know, we're all in it together. The Spice Girls belongs to everyone, I always yeah. think. Yeah. You know, you're in it. You're so yeah. Yeah. There was one of us in all of the Spice Girls. Yeah. Yeah. I think whether you're even posh Akbar, or scary. Even yeah. Akbar, don't yeah. you now? <laughs> yes. Who would you be, yes. Akbar? Uh, would you be? Pro probably Mel, yeah. 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 Well, can I just yeah. say, right, yeah. before I came on this show, <laughs> I, I think it's quite well-mannered to research all of you before yeah. we meet, as you do me, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. And I have to say, you are all really inspiring. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's me? true. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Right. Like, forgive, oh. my, forgive me, I don't know a lot about American football, no. but you, oh my God, oh. you used to be as a linebacker and you used to tackle people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right. This is and, true. This yes. is true. And then you've evolved into this, you know, fantastic. You've got a new chapter. Yes. Okay. Yes. The same with you, Amanda, and Natalie. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Such strength of character, all oh, of you. So you. it's really nice to have me. Thank, thank you, you so much. I, you know, I really appreciate you saying that. You know, sometimes you don't appreciate your own journey. Yeah, but nobody to hear from someone. Like, yeah, yeah, no one yeah, does no one that. When that. you're, you know, yeah. the top of your game, you don't get the pat on the back, but well done. Yeah, you know, Sorry, I, 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 you, yeah. no, that's, that, that's, oh that's so God. cool. It actually gets us right into your book because you've got, uh, obviously, this book that we're talking about. So let's get into it because, you know, I found something, you know, something very interesting in your book on page 48 here. Um, it says, make the choice thou fearest the most. Tell everyone what that means uh, here, uh, what that's that. about here in Rosie Frost. Okay, so Rosie Frost is an action adventure, okay? And I feel like the world needs a new hero. Mm. Someone ordinary, unairbrushed, finds the courage you never knew you had. A bit like you guys, yep. okay? So basically, that rule, take the chance you fear the most, is given to Rosie Frost by a ghost queen, Anne Boleyn, who had her own challenges, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's one that you can use 
and she uses it's like for you for you going from the linebacker okay, going yeah. i'm gonna go on television and i'm gonna start interviewing i'm a bit frightened but i'm gonna go for it yeah. the same with the challenges you've you've had in your life mm. it's almost turning your poop to fertilizer i'm gonna go <laughs> <for> wow <laughs> hold on I love that, that was that, can you say that again <laughs> With the accent, it yeah, sounds yeah, so refined. It does sound we, so it's better. Okay, yeah. poop to fertilize. It's like all the pain <laughs> that we have. All of you have experienced these yeah. challenges, and instead of sitting on our pity pots, yeah. you know, and we're gonna. Okay, this is horrible. But what you, what I've watched you lot is you share that. You share the grief. Yeah. You share the pain, and actually, then you help each other over the line to say you're not alone. That's another rosy yeah. rule: is united we stand. You know, like and divided uh, we fall. We need each other. And yeah, that's what yeah. this show is about. Yeah. Jerry, it's so... I love this, and I love that you've created such an incredible heroine, but you also have really strong male characters in this book. Yeah. How important was that to you? OK, so I think, you know, real girl power isn't just about girls, it's about boys, it's about everyone, yeah. OK? Mm -hmm. And so if you can see it, you can be it. So we want to have boys. The girls save the boys sometimes, but the boys are strong, but sometimes they cry. So to give you permission to show your emotions, yeah. and that's really healthy, mm -hmm. I think so. So we're not one thing. Yes. Uh, that makes sense. It's, yeah, your it's, kids yeah. can see that it's all right. So, you know, to say I'm struggling here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's you're representing what it should be like, and I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Guys, we're gonna have more with Jerry when we come right back. <laughs>Excuse me, New York Times best-selling author Jerry Hollowell Horner. And we gotta get right into this because just last week Kim Kardashian said on their show that Melcy actually asked, was asked uh, to fill in for Victoria. Did you know about this and how do you feel about that? Well, I just think there's room for everyone. Uh -huh. And yeah. so you can be in there as well, if you like. Don't, hey, don't get me started. I'll go so. on tour. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll start <laughs> on there's, there's room for everyone. Why yeah. not? Yeah. How would you, how do you think Kim Kardashian would do you as do a Spice this, Girl? I actually really admire her. Yeah. I mean, I was watching, she's just done amazing. If you, like, I think if you've got that, like, strength inside and out, mm -hmm. she really exudes, yeah. like, yeah. it's inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what, the other thing I think is, I mean, here's someone that's turned their poop to fertilizer. We've talked about that. Right. She's not, she really has. And I think it's really nice that she's been a really good example for girls to be curvy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That stereotype, I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Good right. for her. Yeah. yeah. I love how supportive you are of other women, but also I know all the Spice Girls, you're all supportive of one another. I mean, are you guys on like a text chain? Yeah, getting we are, right? <laughs> the, the SG text chain? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, so it's fine. Gosh. I know when you post, they tend to respond. Yeah, that's really yeah. nice. Really I want to nice. get in on that thread. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't we all? You got to talk about The SG <laughs> text chain. <laughs> now, earlier, we talked about, um, you know, how women over the years have been, you know, so important to you and, and so important to women in general. If you could create the I most iconic girl group with women in history. Well, first and foremost, I, I, w I don't think I would have had the success I would have had if it wasn't for America. When I was a little girl, mm -hmm. I used to watch, you know, I used to serious, my mum was at work mm -hmm. and I was watching like Rocky or the A-Team mm -hmm. and it was America that told me, you can do it no matter where you're from, which is yeah. really good yeah. value, which I like, yeah. right? And there are many American women that I think are fantastic. Maya Angelou yes. mm -hmm. uh, is amazing. Serena Williams okay. is very cool. It's a good group so far. Okay, Marilyn Monroe. Amazing. I mean, she's gorgeous and smart yes. at the same time. Obviously, Queen Elizabeth, I think, is amazing. Cool. Yes. Yes. Anyone yes. that you... You also oh, had I mean, Frida, Frida? Frida Kahlo oh, yes. is another yeah. one. Would be you, great. Said, you know, there's, 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 a, there's a plenty of them. So you we, all could be one. You <laughs> named the group. Okay. That would be your new Spice Girls group. We've okay. created something, what it might look like. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's... <laughs> wow. that's Maya Angelou is rocking oh, that out, okay. babe. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm sure right. they'd be very pleased with that. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> That is my graphics team. Shout out to them. For that is a that look, together. all right, for That's Queen very, Elizabeth. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> now, Jerry, really quickly, I, you know, fans, we love to speculate. You were making some ginger tea on social media. Is there any hope for any kind of? At some point, it's, you okay, know, it's like, okay. Oh, you know, we'll see. You, you know, right now, 
Oh, it's like children. Yep. Okay. So I like to focus, like Rosie Frost. Yep. Yeah. She is like a child a child that I need to get out into the world yeah. and I'm giving her the focus Absolutely. that she... Any uh, reference to ginger? Do you know ginger's very healthy for you? Yes. Really? Yeah. I love ginger. Yes. There yes. you go. Yeah, I, I love ginger. ginger. <laughs> good for your digestion. Very good, yeah, yeah. Very good yeah. for you. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> good for making your poop turn to fertilizer, right? There we go. <laughs> Sharon, you're <laughs> right? Is being the thread of, it's true, right? The thread, thread follows the thread through. of that. Yeah. It all comes correct. back to that. It's the digestion. Yes. It does. Exactly. <laughs> Healthy. Jerry, you're fantastic. What a guest. Love having you. Be sure to check out Jerry's book, Rosie Frost and the Falcon Queen. It is available now. And everybody in the audience, guess what? You're going home with a copy of Rosie Frost. Yay. Coming up next, so the most decorated track and field athlete of all time, Allison.